Hello everybody, Miss Ashley here. I hope you are all doing well, staying safe and healthy. I miss everybody, so I really hope you're doing well. This week is National Boys and Girls Club Week, and every day it's going to have a special theme. So today's theme is Drop Everything and Read Day. And that means that we're going to have some extra videos posting on YouTube and on our Facebook page with staff reading some stories for everybody. That's what I'm doing today. I'm going to read a book called The Littlest Easter Bunny, and it was written by Brandy Doherty and illustrated by Jamie Pogg. And I really hope that I said that last name right. All right. So... Penny was a bunny. She lived with her family in a warren in Eastertown. There were many bunnies in Penny's community, but she was the littlest. Can you guys see Penny? Right there. In the springtime, it was springtime, and Penny was excited. This year, she would get to help the town prepare for Easter. There were so many important jobs to do to get the Easter bunny ready for the holiday. Penny just had to find the right one. Penny's first stop was the egg painting studio. These animals were artists. They painted all the eggs the Easter bunny hid. Penny's sister B showed her how to dip an egg in the dye. But the vats of dye were very big. Oh, Penny. Penny's next stop was her brother's sweet shop. Baxter made the biggest, most delicious marshmallow chicks and chocolate bunnies in the whole town. Baxter showed Penny how to pour the melty chocolate into the molds. Penny, Baxter asked, looking around. Maybe you'll be better helping Mumsy, Baxter suggested. What do you guys like better, marshmallow chicks or chocolate bunnies? I think I like chocolate bunnies more. Penny hopped to her mother's basket weaving workshop. The Easter Bunny needs a lot of baskets for his deliveries. Weaving was more complicated than it looked. Penny got dizzy and spun in a circle, then crash. Oh dear, said Penny's mother. Why don't you go see Popsy? Penny's father supervised the crew who filled the Easter baskets with treats. Add the grass then the chocolate bunnies, then the eggs with special prizes inside, Popsy instructed. The other animals worked so fast, Penny's tiny paws couldn't keep up. Popsy peered into Penny's almost empty basket. Maybe next year, sweet girl, he said gently. Oh, for Penny? Penny hopped outside, but it wasn't a happy, snappy springtime hop. It was a sad pouty, cloudy day hop. There had to be one special Easter job she could do, even if she was little. Just then, Penny heard a noise coming from an azalea bush. She peeked inside to find Peck the chick. And he was little, just like Penny. Peck was pouty sad too. All the other chicks have found their special Easter jobs, he explained, except for me. Penny didn't like to see someone sad. She thought about how to make Peck happy. Then she got an idea big enough for both of them. With a little help from Penny's family, Penny and Peck started making their own Easter baskets filled with treats. And the baskets were little, just like them. Easter day was almost here. The whole town was bustling about helping prepare the Easter Bunny for the big morning. Suddenly, Bee and Baxter hopped past. The Easter Bunny's egg hiders caught spring fever. They can't go with him. Penny and Peck looked at each other. We can do it, Penny cried. You're too little, Baxter said. The Easter Bunny needs little helpers, Penny argued. We can find the best hiding spot. Penny and Peck sprang into action. They took their mini baskets to the Easter Bunny's office. They told him all the reasons why they were the perfect egg hiders and showed him the tiny treasures they'd made for kids who were little, just like them. The Easter
Master Bunny listened quietly. Finally, he cleared his throat and said, I think you might be right. Penny and Peck had the best time ever hiding Easter eggs with the Easter Bunny. They found new and clever hiding spots, and their mini Easter baskets were perfect for the littlest kids to find. They returned to Easter Town with big smiles and even bigger stories to tell. Their families were so proud. It turned out that Penny and Peck were not too little to have important jobs on Easter, and more than that, they were not too little to make a friend, because sometimes the most special things are also the littlest. All right, guys, so that is it for my story. I hope everybody enjoyed that. And then make sure we're checking back later so we can see other stories from other staff members, okay? And then the rest of this week, we have some fun stuff coming up too. So make sure we're checking back in the next couple days as well. All right, everybody, I hope to see you soon. Bye.